Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to classify equations as either direct or inverse variations. So let's first look at the two types of equations. Okay, a direct variation equation will, will take the form y equals kx, where x and y are variables and k is a constant. You can also change the form of this equation by dividing both sides by x and change it to y over x is equal to your constant. So those are the two forms you're going to see of direct variation. The second equation we're going to look at is inverse variation, and it's going to take the form of y is equal to the constant k divided by x. So x is b or k is being divided by the variable x. Also, you can change the form of this by just multiplying both sides by x to get rid of the fraction over here and to the form y uh, x times y is equal to your constant. Now the one thing you need to know that direct means as one variable increases so do these, does the other and inverse means as one increases one decreases. So it's if you're looking at a linear equation it's decreasing on inverse and it's increasing on direct. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples and see if we can't use our chart to help us. Okay, the first one is m is equal to 5p. Okay m and p are the two variables just like x and y so let's see which form we think that matches to me it looks like this but just to confirm that what I like to do is to get um, to get the two variables on the same side so I'm going to divide both sides by p and that gives me m over p is equal to the constant 5 where k is 5 and yes that is what it looks like. So I like to get my variables on the same side and yes that confirms that one definitely is a direct uh, direct variation. So as one variable increases the other one increases. Okay so let's look at our second one over here. We have c is equal to p over negative 4. Well we have a fraction so it kind of looks like this doesn't it but be careful because where's our constant? This time our constant's on the bottom not on the top. So let's get the um, variable on both sides. To get the variable on both sides, I'm going to kind of change the form of this equation around. I'm going to make the c is equal to negative one-fourth. I'm just going to pull this negative one-fourth out times p. So I'm going to divide both sides by p, and I get c over p is equal to negative one-fourth. Okay, so now I have my variables on the same side. So I can kind of look at this chart. When I have the variables on the same side and they're being divided, they're actually, this one's direct also, isn't it? So don't let that one trick you. I'm gonna go back and mark this one as direct. Don't let it trick you on with a constant in the denominator. Okay, so let's look at this one. We have r is equal to 9 over t. Okay, to get the variables on the same side, I'm going to multiply both sides by t. So multiply the both sides. So I'm going to have r times t is equal to the constant 9. Now that I have the variables on both sides, I can see I'm multiplying my two variables together. So let's go over here. Which one is it? Oh, it's the inverse. It's that inverse variation. So this one's an inverse. When I get the variables on both sides and we're multiplying to get to our constant and again in this equation our constant is 9 so you can see k is 9 in this this equation. Okay now let's look at one more. y is equal to w over 18. Okay again I'm going to pull my equation apart and make this 1 18th times w so I can see my fraction here so I'm going to have to divide both sides by w and I change this to y over w is equal to 1 18th and you can see hmm, I'm dividing my variables which one divides the variables to equal the constant the direct does so in this and these four problems I had three that ended up being direct one two three and I had one that ended up being inverse. So try to get your variables on the same side and then you can see if you've got the two variables dividing equaling to a constant number, it's a direct variation. If you have the two variables multiplying to a constant, that is an inverse. Hope this video was helpful on figuring out how to classify as direct or inverse variations.